Hi everyone, it's Brian from brightech.co.uk. Got another tutorial here for you today, and we're going to be discussing the Driver Verifier Manager tool for Windows. Now, this tool is a hidden tool in Windows operating system. You won't see it until you type in the run bar down at the bottom there, and then basically it will come up with the Verifier tool. But before we open that up, I just want to explain basically what it does. It's basically a tool that was designed for software developers to test their drivers, which is really handy for techies because basically uh, if you've got a driver error from a blue screen like so, a stop error, and it's an actual driver issue, you can actually put the tick in that driver through using the verifier reboot the machine and it will actually test the driver. Now if, it, if that driver's at fault it will blue screen again and tell you that that's the driver that's at fault which is now the way you can actually rectify the problem. So anyway let's have a look at the uh, driver verifier tool that's in um, Windows. So let's just shut this down here. And what we need to do, it's also designed for Wind debugger in that previous tutorial was talking about the wind debugger, mini dump files. Now, once you get that information that the actual um, driver issue is, is called a certain name, you can actually look for that driver and actually do a search on it to make sure it's that driver that's actually at fault. So, let's just uh, get started. So, you need to go to the run bar here and type in verifier. That's all you need to put in there and up comes this box here. Now from there you want to create a standard settings. So leave the top tab ticked, go next and then you want to come down to the bottom here. Select drivers names from list. Click in there and then click next. Pretty simple process really. So now what you want to do is look for a driver that was at fault on your machine. So say for argument's sake we're just going to be just saying a driver really that was at fault. Now say for argument's sake this driver was at fault and this driver was at fault. You put the two ticks in like so and what you'd need to do then is obviously go finish. If I click finish now obviously that would want to reboot the machine. So it's going to say you must reboot the machine. As soon as you reboot the machine the verifier will actually check the drivers that were at fault. Now if they were at fault and this was what was causing the crash dump file and causing the blue screen, this will then obviously create another blue screen so you now know that these files are the ones that are actually causing it, the blue screen, and it gives you a way of rectifying the problem. So that's how you basically use the driver verifier tool. It's a real handy tool to use, especially for uh, reading once you've read mini dump files you can actually get the name of the system file or driver that's at fault and then type it and then look for it in there. Now once you've done that, uh, once you've done that you need to, the verifier tool will constantly run until you turn it off. So what you need to do to turn it off is go back to the run bo box like so and you need to type verifier forward space uh, uh, space forward slash reset like so and then just push enter and basically that will turn off the verifier management tool that you've got there okay so I hope this clears it up for you it wasn't it's not really an in-depth sort of tutorial really it's just a sort of a, a, a sort of scratching the surface of what you can do with that tool Basically, all you need to do is read your dump files from here and then obviously find out if it's a driver related problem and it kicks up the name of the driver and then you can actually log in to the verifier and put that tick in that driver that you want to scan, reboot, find out that you get a blue screen, you know it's that and then you can do something about that driver. Okay. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this tutorial. 
please leave your comments. I'll be doing some more tutorials in the future. Bye for now.